Using very advanced technology and procedures, archaeologists unearthed the chilling secrets of Homo naledi, an enigmatic species with brains one-third the size of modern humans that once lived on the Earth. Ancient humans were burying their dead and making symbols. Why are they lying to us about our past? This is not a human species. They have a brain a third the size of ours. It's, it's uh, about the size of a chimpanzee's. And they're carving symbols 150,000 years before humans even think of doing that. Very strange, where it's it's almost like they're gripping the ground with their toes, and the the toes are very thick and strong because they're they're constantly walking around barefoot, and they they use their toes and the toe muscles in a way that we don't use them anymore. I can't believe what we're seeing, and we're seeing scratch marks. This malevolent lineage changes the very foundations of human evolution. As scientists revealed, these shadowy creatures deliberately buried their dead, a morbid ritual eerily reminiscent of modern Homo sapiens. As explorers delved into this Stygian abyss, they encountered treacherous passages and claustrophobic tunnels, invoking primordial fears that echoed through time. This is a mind-boggling discovery, so let's explain it. So, scientists have found proof that a group of ancient humans who we don't know much about did two things. They buried their dead, and they carved symbols on cave walls. They did this a long time ago, even before we have any proof of modern humans doing these things. They looked like they should have lived millions of years ago, but they were actually existing 250,000 to 350,000 years ago, at the same time modern humans are evolving. These ancient humans were from a species called Homo naledi, and their brains were much smaller than ours, about one-third of the size of a brain in modern humans. Would have stood about five feet tall, a small brain about the size of a large orange, but a very human-like character to the overall plan of the skull. This new information might make us think differently about how humans evolved. Before this, we only thought that burying the dead and making drawings on cave walls were things done by humans with bigger brains, like Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. It's extraordinary to think that there was a time where our planet was inhabited by human-like creatures and potentially Homo sapiens simultaneously. It's possible to imagine entirely different trajectories for civilization. All of our assumptions around the way that power is organized, the way that our systems operate, are built upon a shared consensual history about the nature of our journey, the way that we arrived here together. Back in 2013, while digging in the rising star cave system in South Africa, scientists found some old bones that belonged to a group called Homo naledi. This cave system is in a special place called South Africa's Cradle of Humankind, which is like a museum for ancient human history. In this area, scientists have discovered the remains of many different kinds of ancient human relatives. These old bones are like puzzle pieces that help us learn more about how humans have changed over time. Dr. Lee Berger, a scientist who studies old humans and is linked with National Geographic, along with his team of underground astronauts, have been busy in the big, risky caves. They're trying to learn more about the ancient humans who aren't around anymore, the ones who came before us. Recently, the group of researchers found the bodies of Homo naledi grown-ups and kids. These bodies were placed in a curled-up position, like babies, and put in holes in the cave. Then they were covered with dirt. These burials happened much earlier than any burials we know of done by Homo sapiens, at least 100,000 years earlier. But now we know that neither were we exceptional in that brain. The brain doesn't make us whatever it is we are. We now see Homo naledi doing the things that we held as the only thing we had left 250,000 years ago. While the scientists were figuring out the burials in the cave, they also came across some marks carved into the walls. These marks are thought to be really old, somewhere between 241,000 and 335,000 years old. But they still want to do more tests to find out exactly how old they are. They discovered markings on the walls that look like hashtags and other shapes carved really deep. These same kinds of marks were found in different caves before, made by early Homo sapiens around 80,000 years ago and Neanderthals about 60,000 years ago. People think these marks were a way for them to remember things and tell others. The new discoveries show that Homo naledi, the old human relatives with small brains, did things on purpose. They buried their dead, 
drew symbols, and did things that had meaning. In 2017, my team was conducting excavation at the base of the chute. And then I look down there, and I see his little fingers coming out. Dr. Berger, who worked on the research, said that this strongly suggests that even though they had small brains, these ancient humans did complicated things connected to death. This means that humans might not be the only ones who started using symbols and meaningful actions, and they might not have been the ones to come up with these behaviors. And venturing into the complex rising star cave system and its rooms requires a lot of bravery. The group has already drawn a map of over four kilometers of the caves. These caves go down 100 meters and stretch out more than 200 meters in length. Dr. Tibogo Makubela, who is a geology expert at the University of Johannesburg, is in charge of the studies and knows a lot about the rocks in the area. The cave system has really dangerous areas with steep falls and small paths, like a tunnel called Superman's Crawl. This tunnel is 40 meters long and just 25 centimeters wide. The researchers had to crawl on their bellies to get through it. Dr. Kanealo Malapian, who's a part of National Geographic and leads the digging team on the Dragon's Back Expedition, which is named after a part of the cave, talked about this. Dr. Berger mentioned that in 2022, he had to lose 25 kilograms of weight so he could fit through the tricky parts of the cave. Berger mentioned that going through the cave was a blend of frightening and extraordinary experiences. He almost had a dangerous situation while coming out, but the valuable discoveries they made justified the challenges. Additionally, he noted that this tough journey might not have been as difficult for Homo nality. Homo nality had a few things in common with humans, such as walking on two legs and using their hands to handle things. However, they were different in some ways. They had smaller heads, were shorter, but their bodies were more muscular. Berger explained this. Homo naledi's shoulders were built for climbing, and their teeth were similar to those of earlier human-like creatures like Australopithecus. Dr. John Hawkes, a professor who knows a lot about ancient humans, mentioned this from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The scientists have discovered a lot of Homo naledi bones all around the caves. These include both very young babies and old grown-ups. This helps them figure out what the whole group of Homo nalidae was like, according to Hawks. As the team went further into the caves, they realized that Homo nalidae was pretty comfortable with the whole cave system and used a lot of different parts of it. Back in 2015, when Berger and his team first told everyone about finding Homo nalidae, they said there's a chance that these ancient humans purposefully put their dead in the cave. However, the thought that a hominin with a small brain would do this was seen as a really debatable idea. In 2018, the group started finding proof that helped the idea that Homo nalidae might have purposefully buried their dead. They found shapes like holes dug into the cave walls, and inside them were the bodies placed in a curled up position. There were more burial spots where they dug into the sloping ground. This shows that the bodies weren't accidentally put there, according to Berger. The bodies weren't ones that just ended up in holes or depressions accidentally. These were whole bodies, covered with dirt, and they decayed right there in the grave. This shows that they were intentionally buried as complete bodies, not just by chance like falling or getting washed in. Berger explained that they meet the standards for human burials, even ancient ones. So, they call these spaces where homo nalidae were laid to rest graves or burial sites. The way Homo nalidae handled their dead is pretty interesting. This is important because it's the first time scientists found proof of this kind of behavior in a species that's not very similar to us, like Homo sapiens. It's fascinating that Neanderthals and Homo heidelbergensis groups used to put their dead in caves, just like lots of people do now, from a long time ago until today. People in the past even made fake caves when there weren't any real ones around, all over the world. Scientists are still studying the secrets of Rising Star Cave, and this could really help us understand more about how ancient humans first started thinking and believing things. This could change how we see history from millions of years ago. Homo naledi probably wasn't directly related to us, but rather, both Homo sapiens and Homo naledi likely came from a shared ancestor a long time before either of them lived. So, the similar beliefs they had might be by chance or from an even older time in history. Moreover, 
Inside one of the burial spots, there's a rock that's shaped like a tool. It was placed next to the hand of a grown-up homonality and just above where the burials are. These carvings are shapes that are carved really deep into the walls. These walls are made of a type of rock called dolomite, and it's pretty tough, like 4.5 to 4.7 on the Mohs hardness scale. This scale helps scientists see how tough minerals are by checking how easily they get scratched. Dolomite is about halfway between regular rock and a diamond in terms of hardness. This means that it would have taken a whole lot of time and effort to carve those shapes into the walls, according to Berger. The team thinks it was Homo naledi, not Homo sapiens, who made the carvings. They believe this because there's no proof that humans have ever been in those caves. Homo naledi could see what they were doing inside the caves because they used fire. They left behind evidence like soot, charcoal, and burnt bones that show they were lighting fires on purpose, according to Berger. Both the burials and the symbols give the impression that Homo naledi could do things that had meaning, like the way humans do, explained Agustin Fuentes. He's part of National Geographic, and he's an expert who's on site and knows a lot about how biology and culture are connected. The symbols don't have a clear meaning, and the scientists can't confirm if they were used as a way of talking or sharing thoughts among Homo naledi. But what they can say is that these designs with shapes were made on purpose, and they had importance for Homo naledi. Fuentes explained that this shows that Homo naledi spent a bunch of time and energy to carve these symbols into the walls of the caves where they were putting their dead. The discoveries about Homo naledi show us that having bigger brains might not be the only reason for complex behavior. In the past, people thought that only humans did these kinds of things. The challenge now is that we've learned Homo naledi, along with Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, Denisovans, and some others, were doing the same sort of stuff we used to think only humans did. This means we need to change our ideas about when ancient humans started using fire, making things that have meaning, and burying their dead. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.